Well, one of the most rewarding things uh, was to, well, is to currently have two uh, national uh, uh, sports franchises that we are the official movers of. And uh, one of them we obtained by going to uh, Canada. Uh, we went to Vancouver, British Columbia, and went to uh, Canada and got uh, the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, wow. They were the Vancouver Grizzlies then. That was our first international move. Wow. And we went there and moved every one of them here uh, during the course of 9-11. So that was oh, wow. really uh, a high accomplishment for us. Okay. Uh, our drivers and our movers went there. We drove trucks there to and fro until we brought every one of them, the employees, the players, the coaches, the staff, everybody to Memphis. Uh, and we did it with the least amount of complications. Awesome. Uh, and that was the first time we'd ever done an international move, but we were determined to start our international plight uh, with the Grizzlies. That is incredible. Yes. So, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> young people, anybody who's anybody and who wants to be anybody, particularly if you're a Grizzlies fan, yeah. we should be thanking you for getting them here. For two reasons. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> One, for moving them, and two, for investing in them. You awesome. Know? Uh, so it's been, it's been a pleasure to have them here. Yeah. Uh, the mission has been accomplished of, of the purpose of bringing the Grizzlies here, yeah. and that's to bring this city together awesome. uh, from a racial perspective. And uh, that, uh, the Memphis Grizzlies has the number one uh, diverse audience in the whole NBA. That is unbelievable. Yes, sir. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. So I'll say thank you. You're so welcome. For the city. <laughs> and I'm mm -hmm. saying it so, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to uh, give Mr. Ewing and his company uh, a big shout of thanks and support. Mm -hmm. um, as we all know, my wife and I are in business and we provide training and executive coaching and consulting and um, yes. didn't realize it, but uh, I just happen to be a life and business coach for athletes. So we have to talk okay. about that some more. Definitely. But as with any business, mm -hmm. you've got those things and those situations that make you feel really good. Mm -hmm. But the reality of it is those are few and far in between. That's true. We've got more challenges than, uh, than good Way stories. Way more challenges. Tell me, about, uh, tell me about some of the challenges that, uh, that you experience. Well, most of our challenges, uh, um, well, for the last great challenge that we've had has been this economy. Mm. Uh, people didn't know that uh, it was a direct impact. The housing market uh, was a direct impact to the moving industry. Uh, people don't have a house, people don't have a job, people are not moving. If they are moving, excuse me, they're cutting costs and moving themselves. Mm -hmm. So it impacted our business greatly. Uh, our number one client uh, did a hiring freeze, uh, did a buyout uh, of their employees, and they wasn't moving. So it affected our business greatly. The housing market, when uh, houses wasn't selling, you know, we wasn't moving. Uh, but we were able to maintain, we cut everything we could in order to keep our employees. We kept our staff through uh, the uh, downturn of the economy, and now that it's starting to turn back up, uh, we still have our employees and we've been able to maintain. Wow. That's so awesome. that was the biggest challenge, I'd say, we, that we had as a company. Yeah. Individually, we still have the challenge of uh, uh, finding good people uh, to uh, work in Memphis. Um, the industry is not one that um, you have to have a lot of uh, educational degrees in order to be able to work in. So you just got to have a strong will and a strong determination Absolutely. to achieve in this industry. Absolutely. It's not a traditionally industry for uh, black males to be in, uh, in ownership. Mm -hmm. So it's been a challenge there. Wow. Uh, but we've overcome all of those challenges with the help of the Lord. We trust God and we promote that Absolutely. within our business Absolutely. and our uh, employees have been very faithful to mm -hmm. us and to uh, their uh, beliefs. Yes. And we've been able to overcome a lot of major obstacles that otherwise would have uh, taken us under. Yeah, that is awesome. You've mm -hmm. said really a lot of things in that sound bite. Mm -hmm. uh, first and foremost, um, you acknowledge yes, that sir. you are um, you are a child of, of, of our Savior and, and Lord Jesus. So yes, that's incredible. Um, the other thing is you have endured the storm yes. and you sit here proudly mm -hmm. um, and, and recognize and acknowledge that. So that's incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and you've talked about providing jobs. Yes. I know that even though that's challenging, mm -hmm. it's got to be rewarding too. So that is just really awesome. 
Well, we had uh, our employees really bought into the company. Uh, we had to cut vacation, holidays. Uh, we cut hours, but we never laid off anybody. Awesome. You know, and everybody was willing to give up something. Uh, we took a 5% pay cut. You know, I mean, everybody was just, they bought in. Wow. And uh, we've been able to uh, endure. Mm -hmm. And so we thank God for our employees. We thank God for our management staff that has endured with us as well. Right. Well, you said a number of things, and quite honestly, I think you have shared publicly, and we're going to have to back some of that off <laughs> so that you and I can get together, and maybe you'll let me, allow me to be your agent, okay. and we can talk about that, <laughs> yeah, uh, that recipe for success, because mm -hmm. what you've done is probably what some of the larger companies should have done, and had they done that and follow mm -hmm. that recipe, mm -hmm. then some of them may still be around. But when That's you true. talked about the sacrifice, and you talked about teamwork. Mm -hmm. uh, I see you've taken that spirit from the business to um, even going back to, to working with the sports teams, mm -hmm. but that philosophy has allowed you to survive, so that's yes. really awesome. There were two things that I thought about as you were talking. Mm -hmm. One is what kind of, it's going to be a two-part question. Okay. What advice would you give someone who's trying to save money and ends up leaving and dropping things on the interstate, tearing up half their furniture, and ending up having to replace mm -hmm. it, number one. And then mm -hmm. number two, to think in terms of the kinds of businesses mm -hmm. that could serve as affiliates or partners to send business to you. Uh, one, uh, as far as uh, uh, moving things yourself, you take too many risks. Um, your back get out of whack, you're out of work, you know, then it's costly. Uh, there can be negotiations with moving companies. Uh, this is non-peak season. You pick your time for moving if you can uh, because uh, the rates are negotiable uh, during non-peak season. Um, there's always ways to work it where you can do a portion uh, movers can help you to work out a lot of different options. Uh, we can provide used boxes at perhaps no cost. Uh, we do move uh, used boxes at no cost uh, to average person that wants to move. So if you want to pack yourself, that saves you some money. Uh, packing is probably the most expensive part of a move. So if they pack themselves, that saves. Uh, if they break their own beds down, you know, uh, when we get there, if the beds are already broken down and we move on the hourly rate, that saves time. Time is money. Uh, things you can do to uh, minimize the cost and get the same results uh, without having to go out and find some friends or uh, rent a truck and take the truck back. All of that is time consuming. We can save you money, worry and time. Wow. And those are the three things that uh, make you choose a mover versus doing it yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, I just came up with a little corny tagline, and you mm -hmm. probably, I know you're a lot more savvy than I am, but what I heard you say mm -hmm. is they're not too big and they're not too small. You'll just move them all. That's <laughs> I told you I was That's a little correct. bit corny. I'll That's keep my correct. day job. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, we add some of that in our uh, uh, slogans and our commercials, too, Absolutely. that we put in there. Yeah. And as far as uh, the uh, second part to the question uh, uh, that you asked, I, the affiliates. The who, affiliates. Yeah. Who uh, we, real estate agents, is number one. Uh, real estate agents is number one that we use. Uh, we take, uh, we do a lot of corporate moving. So what we try to do is go in and provide services to their employees. Uh, if you ain't got a newsletter, we go into the newsletter. If it, we'll give a discount for any employee. Uh, put that in your newsletter. Uh, mostly the corporations that we service, uh, we offer discounts. Uh, we uh, also work with um, schools. We go in and do a lot of business in schools. I go in and speak at a lot of schools, and I take the kids a refrigerator magnet. Oh, wow. And when they take the magnet home, put it on the refrigerator, then uh, we like the parents to utilize the uh, uh, the magnet Absolutely. and what's on it, and that's our number. That's awesome. <laughs> so it's, it's a lot of ways that we work. We work with churches. Uh, we are very uh, active within the church community. Mm -hmm. Uh, I serve uh, in several capacities uh, in the church community as a deacon at my church, as a trustee, and also as a president of the uh, National Baptist Layman's Movement uh, Adopt the School uh, oh, promotion. So it's a lot of uh, uh, religious affiliation as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you're investing back into the community. And once again, I think that's something that's very important for people who 
are your clients to know? Mm -hmm. And then those folks, when they're looking for companies to conduct business with, it's important to know that not only are you making a living, mm -hmm. uh, but you're providing jobs for others, and you are sewing back into the community to our most valuable asset, mm -hmm. and that's our children. We love, uh, my, my employees has taken on the spirit that I have, and that's getting actively involved with a lot of different organizations. I um, work with Stacks, um, founding board member of uh, Stacks uh, Museum and Academy. Uh, also work with Boys and Girls Club for the past 24 years wow. uh, with Boys and Girls Club. Uh, Rise Foundation, one of the founding board members of Rise Foundation. Uh, my employees just got involved with the Hard Walk uh, okay. We raised money for the Hard Walk. We did the uh, barbecue at the Med uh, to raise money for the Heart Association. Uh, we are active in a lot of different things within our company. Wow. Yes. And as the saying goes, givers gain. So, um, yes, you know, you have worked and everything that you've gotten, you've mm -hmm. gotten it from hard work. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Charles Ewing, uh, the president and CEO of Ewing Moving and Storage, and don't forget the service part. Mm -hmm. uh, he can be reached at 901-774-2197. You can also go to their website at www.ewingmovingservice.com. Mm -hmm. So um, we, again, want to just thank you so much. Now, it sounds like all you do is work. <laughs> You got to take some time out for yourself. So what kind of things are you doing and what do you do to kind of balance life out? Well, um, I've just started a, uh, for the past two and a half years. I've started a new hobby, hobby, which is golfing. Oh, great. I love golfing now. And yeah. so I try to spend some time golfing. Um, that's pretty much uh all that I do outside of work, well, yeah. <laughs> work and then work with a lot of different organizations mm -hmm. to help uh, promote. Uh, I worked uh, with the Church Health Center, served on their board for five years, uh, Southwest Community College Business Advisory Board. I mean, I, I was on probably 13 boards at wow. one time. Yes, indeed. So now uh, I've drawn back from the boards, focus on the business, and spend a little time playing golf. Wow. <laughs> Well, you know, the one thing that uh, we all have the same amount of time of, mm -hmm. uh, but it depends on how we invest it, and I think it's been a great investment of time uh, to have you here as a guest today. Thank you. Unfortunately, we are winding down just as we're warming up. Okay. So uh, <laughs> I'll commit to it, and hopefully you'll join me. Let's do this some more and look at some ways that we can partner up and make a difference. I'll commit to doing whatever I can do to help to keep that spirit that you have out there. Um, well, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Tucker. You have always been a great uh, uh, supporter of Ewing Moving Service and just a supporter of black businesses in the city of Memphis. And I want to thank you for all of the things that you do, the commitment, the uh, passion that you have and show mm -hmm. for small and minority businesses. Great. Thank Appreciate you so you. much. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mr. Charles Ewing, President and CEO of Ewing Moving and Storage Service. Uh, this has been The Best Of. I'm your host, Ricky Tucker. If you'll keep in mind and hear of someone else that you thinks worthy of uh, being a guest, this guy set the bar high. Uh, just give us a call at 901-870-7492. Um, once again, Mr. Charles Ewing, Ewing Moving and Storage Service, and I am your host, Ricky Tucker. Remember to always, always be your best. <laughs>